sombrero doesn't fit It's way too tight for my head So I put it on a ham salad sandwich Sent it down to Utah where it belongs to live Daddy accepted it Parcel post at the post office waiting for it to arrive 45 cents postage due was stamped right on it and he sent it on its way next stop Bismarck South Dakota or North Dakota wherever Bismarck happens to be my sombrero with feet grew feet the other day I forgot to mention that my sombrero is waiting to become a member of token entry or men without hats but that would be pretty stupid because it's a hat so why would it be in the band men without hats try to explain that to me but you can't because you don't know the English language you don't know the 26 letters of the alphabet or the 26 numbers of the number alphabet so you just sit there looking stupid waiting for that package to arrive from Utah Houston's where it was sent but I forgot to mention that so why didn't you know all right. Oi. Oi, 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 oi. New York stupid place to live. Don't live there. Live somewhere else live where people give presents to you don't live there don't live under there don't live anywhere at all new york's dumb don't live there don't live somewhere else too don't live there oi oi <laughs> stupid asshole why'd you live there that was dumb Why do you live there, dumb, dumb, dumb? Don't read books, read stuff that's typed. Don't read stuff that people say. Only read, oi, oi, way. Only read when you can. Read when you're riding a bike. Exercise bike in New York. Exercise bikes are the thing. They are owned by somebody important.
please do not wear colorful clothing. So Franklin Delano Roosevelt was president in the 14th century and he was dumb. He had a new deal for his pants. He put history on hold. He had a world war fucking 72 with Chinese people involved in it and he had a world war with you Franklin Delano Roosevelt had a beard seven miles long he grew it since he was one he threw his diaper into the fan and splattered poop all over his parents they weren't happy about it but you were because you had a ticket to prom and you had a date of his wife. You had took FDR's wife to the prom and she had a bikini on. She was waiting for having her wax job done on her bikini line. Bikini line is where pants meet your brain. Franklin Babadoo. around nude and has their underpants draped over their shoulders like they did in the Bible. The Bible told the story about a slingshot held by a man named Joe, I mean David. He slew Goliath with his teeth and he ate a goddamn Christmas wreath. Everybody looked at him weird, and you didn't, so you were different. Big 
cured. People are driven from their homeland with a gun. They are treated unfairly by you. And here's the thing that could make things all the better for us. Yeah. 
it was me. Don't take my record collection and sell it to Mr. Clean Hood. Put on a wig and tell silly jokes to Santa. Put Santa's pants on you and dance funny. <laughs> Down. Don't wear one of your squares. Don't put a t-shirt on a beard. Snow is stupid too. You got pregnant from Santa Claus. Okay. 
cop He's not very tall In fact, you could say that he's small Fidget cop Where have you been all my life? You're the shortest cop on the force But it doesn't mean that you are not to be respected by others Everybody looks down on you Literally, but not figuratively Because you're so short It would be hard for you to arrest, say, a basketball player Or crimes against slam dunk Midget cop, you are a hunk Standing next to your peers It appears that you're not very tall But what you lack inside you make up for in courage And pure willpower And a, a good work ethic On the beat 24-7 Out there Helping people cross the street During crises And there appears to be a riot about to start But the man with the cool head in the crowd Is the midget cop Everybody else is looking nervous But not him Throws on his bulletproof vest and everything's under control. He doesn't even need a riot helmet like the rest of the guys.
awesome, awesome than God himself looking like everyone's an elf. Oh, pig champion, please be my husband tonight. You're number one in my book, better than somebody who can cook. You look like a king amongst men. You're better than that dude from that band that thought they were tough. You're better than every member of Token Entry. You're better than all Victory Records shit. You're better than God. You're number one. Do you understand me? Olympic champion. Please be my friend. We'll have a band together. I'll play a harmonica and you'll play a kazoo. And we'll go on tour of Belgium. And we'll play in a town in Canada called Belgium. Alright. This is an introduction. This next song is another tribute, but not to Pig Champion this time. It's a tribute to Ismail Bandana. Ismail Bandana, you are intense. are worn at all times, and your Ismail antenna showing your colors. Are they gang colors? No one will ever know, because when they fuck with Ismail bandana, they're dead. the intensest gangster around. You showed up on Fox TV for your crimes against humanity. I didn't have the sound on the TV on, so I don't know what you did, but I bet it was badass. Ismail Pantano! That name says, do not fuck with, ever, for penalty of death will ensue, you're dead. is topper. Okay, if you don't know for sure, I'll solve the riddle for you. 
Wind Beneath My Wings is way tougher than TV Party Tonight. You stupid son of a bitch. Sacred cow on the chopping block for a fruit pie, the magician, the evil one from the depths, conjuring up the demons from hell's depths with your toes. You like the Bible, it smells like a roast beef sandwich to you. Fruit Pie the Magician is standing there with his cowboy hat. Wait, that's Twinkie the Kid with his cowboy hat. Hostess treats are tasty, good to eat, and provide all essential nutrients. They are more natural and healthy than a salad. If you eat 40 Twinkies a day, you'll never ever die. That's how Beelzebub got immortal, and his can was too. By eating Hostess snack products, you can make yourself healthy. You will never die. Pudding pies more than fruit pies. Yeah. With the vanilla pudding cream shit in the middle. That's some good tasting health food, man. It's got more nutritional content than pickled beets and umbrella salad. It's got more nutritional content than fudge-worthy records. It's got more nutritional content than Charlie Infection's Light Bright. could have a period on me any day. (laughs) 
Whoa, oh, 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 oh. Beer is drinky, drinky, good to drink. Stick it in your mouth and think. If you drink beer, you'll be the best. If you drink other alcohol, you are above number one. Beer and drink, drink and beer. Awesome, think, do not fear. Put beer in mouth and swallow down. Nobody tells you that you resemble a clown. Beer is number one thing to drink in America. Far outclassing milk and better still than Coca Cola and Sprite. Beer is stuff to make you drunk and it is nice. Beer is exceptional. You stick it in your face and you snort it like cocaine. <laughs> It gets you high faster that way. You shoot whiskey into your brain through a syringe, not causing you pain. Hospital IV bag filled with Jim Beam into artery making you obscene this is the menace to sobriety theme song beer is the cocaine of the alcohol world <laughs> making you fun for the rest of the world